Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim for the PS4. The game is also available for the Xbox One and Microsoft Windows. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is an action role-playing game developed by Bethesda Game Studios. You play as a dragonborn who escapes execution in the opening sequence after which you go on a long and winding quest to uncover your true destiny and the fate of Skyrim. So what is the game like to play? Well after you escape execution you're free to follow the main quest or just explore the vast and interesting region of Skyrim. The character creator is comprehensive and you can choose to play as a wide variety of races each with their own skills and expertise. But once created you can shape your character into anything you desire. And the leveling up and progression system is really well handled. For example, if you keep using your bow, your stats will improve in that area. The same applies to handheld weapons, lock picking, and stealth abilities. It's a much better system than most other games as it makes sense naturally. The more you do something, the better you're going to become at it. You can also purchase perks which grant you augmented abilities in a wide range of areas. All of these things alter how you'll approach missions and how you'll develop further. The combat system is pretty simple to follow with attacks, blocks and weapon switching all accessible in a very simple way. However, whether fighting in first or third person, there are some issues with accuracy, collision detection, that kind of thing. Sometimes you'll swing your axe expecting a hit and you miss. The margins between the two seem very skewed at times, but it's not something that will affect the enjoyment too much. Weapons, armor and items vary and you can find enchanted weapons that have special traits that boost your attack power while equipped. You can loot bodies and the environment then sell all those items in the town stores or you can craft your own stuff using a grindstone tanning rack and a blacksmith forge. The enemies are incredibly varied but it's the dragon battles that really steal the show. And being a dragonborn means you can learn the words of power or shouts as they're referred to in the game. These give you special abilities like being able to blow enemies off a cliff, run at super fast speeds and many other options as you progress deeper into the narrative. You also have an extensive magic system with spells being learnt via reading scrolls. So yeah, the combat is vast and it's amazing in fact. Now, the game world in Skyrim is absolutely fantastic and one of the most richly decorated maps I've ever played. There's so much lore, character, detail and interesting subplots that exploring Skyrim in itself is one of the most enjoyable parts of the game. And the volume of places of interest or characters you'll encounter are quite frankly stunning. It really feels like a living, breathing world and for fans of the Lord of the Rings medieval fantasy style, you are in for a treat. The main story is fantastic, but a special mention must go to the side quests, some of which are as in-depth and varied as main quests in other AAA games. This edition comes with all the DLCs. Firstly, you've got Dawn Guard, which features vampire hunters, new weapons, spells, armor, and the ability to become a vampire yourself. Then you've got Hearthfire, or Heartfire, Hearthfire, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Basically, this allows you to build a house and adopt children. I did all those variations of the word so that the Skyrim nerds don't tell me off. The third DLC is Dragonborn, which takes place in an open world island of Solsteam, northeast of Skyrim, where you can learn new shouts and ride on dragons. And finally, you've got mods via the Creation Club and the Community Mods. Now, these are extensive and can really alter the experience. I personally didn't use many, but they give you options that can really change the entirety of the experience and add a huge amount of replay value. So they're definitely worth checking out on your second playthrough maybe. Graphically, despite the game's age, it holds up when compared to modern releases, saying that it is a Bethesda game, so be prepared for the occasional graphical glitch or freak out moment. The characters, weapons and armor look really good and the dragons in particular are very impressive. Musically, the game is one of, if not, the best score of any game I've ever played. It's powerful, sweeping, and it takes you away into a fantasy world and stands on a par with anything from like the Lord of the Rings movies in terms of quality. The game dialogue is generally good with good voice acting and there's a huge mountain of conversations in this game. And the ambient and combat effects really do complement the action well and overall the audio is just perfection. 
Okay, what's good and what's bad? What's good? It's one of the most immersive game worlds I've ever seen. The leveling up progression system is perfection. The music is sensational. The main quest and brilliant side quest will keep you busy for months. And it's one of the most replayable games out there with more depth than any other game in the genre. What's bad? The collision detection can be an issue at times and being a Bethesda game there are a few glitches. So what is the verdict? The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is a richly detailed role playing game with an excellent progression system, a game world that is a delight to explore and a deep and rich lore that you'll uncover through this exploration. The game draws you into an intriguing narrative that is well paced with some stunning moments and amazing quests. The customization options are huge, the DLCs offer a great deal of content and it's just an absolute joy to play. I don't think I've ever played a game with so much replay value, even after 250 hours plus of total game time across three different consoles I still find the game enjoyable and I'm forever finding new things. In all that time I've never got bored once, which is remarkable considering you know how much time I've put into it. So you really got to say well done to the developers on that front. Skyrim is without doubt the best RPG of all time. It's rich game world, huge map, interesting quests and activities, crafting, customization, and a depth of character that's quite frankly unrivaled even to this day. The only game that even comes close is The Witcher 3, which is also amazing, but for me Skyrim is the best one of the bunch. So with all that being said, my score for The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is 10 out of 10. Amazing game. Okay, that was the review. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer signing off. Thank you.